British are coming, the British are coming. <laughs> That's right, we are back at Thousand Trails Orlando, and this is our last stop yes. before the Tampa show. Yeah. And as you can see, there has been a bit of a British invasion. <laughs> the Brazen Brits are here with us for about five days, so we're gonna hang out with them. We originally met up with the Brazen Brits in Beaumont, Texas, which was just like a circumstance. They were a few spots down from us, and we saw the decal in the back of their RV. We checked out their channel and they look like cool people so we asked to meet up and hung out with them for a few days and if you didn't see that video we'll put a, a link up here so that you can you can go and watch that mm -hmm. we had a really good time yeah, in Beaumont fun. Texas yeah. and then um, they invited us out to their farm they have a, a piece of property in Virginia and they have power and water so we went out there and mooch docked with them for about a week yep. and that was very fun too and so now we're gonna hang out with them for the next four or five days and then we're heading to Tampa they'll still be here for a few days mm -hmm. and then we're all gonna meet up over in Tampa again yeah. and go to the show mm -hmm. so yeah. hopefully we'll be able to find some cool stuff to do and take you along with us mm -hmm. as we um, find some shenanigans to get in with <laughs> the brazen Brits yes. uh, we'll also leave a, a link in the description below to their channel if you want to go and give them a look and if they make you laugh then maybe you can subscribe and be a part of their community too you ready? Yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> Today we are at the Lake Ridge Winery. It's huh? about a half an hour yeah. from the uh, Thousand Trails of Orlando. You just go past uh, Claremont North on 27. And it supposedly is the largest winery in the state of Florida. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what kind of kind of wines they have here. I'm but sure it's mostly, I, I think it, I read that it's all locally citrus used. Yeah, and you can see all the vineyards. I mean, these huge yeah. vineyards out here. Um, they they are not doing their guided tours but they're self-guided tours mm -hmm. uh well that's it's what it says free, online free self-guided tour and tasting okay the tasting's free too so there's supposedly there's some food trucks out here too and musician live music mm -hmm. yeah we're up here with the brazen brits i don't know if you can see them in the background <laughs> over here <laughs> but uh we'll go um check out the winery all right let's do it are you hoping they have slushies uh-huh <laughs> it says uh, seasonal slushy so I'm really hoping they have some today yeah me too I actually enjoy the slushies more than I more than I do wine, wine but yeah. I will drink the wine if that's if that's all they have but especially today it's 80 degrees yes yeah, would be here in Florida so it would be awesome slushy weather yes absolutely. all right let's go eat all right, we're gonna eat first because we're starving yeah. and believe it or not <laughs> uh, the brazen Brits couldn't believe it but believe it or not <laughs> we have never eaten food off of a, a food, food truck, truck before. Yeah. And that's the kind of food that they have here is the food truck. <laughs> you see Lawrence in the background. <laughs> yes. So dumb. <laughs> All right, let's go to the winery. All right. <laughs> Such a lightweight. You can pair it well with cheese, desserts, and fruit. Ooh, that is sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Yeah, I think this is my favorite so far. But we have just eaten. I'm not usually a red wine guy. The Chablis was my favorite in the white. So I think we'll get a bottle of the Chablis. And then my favorite in the red, which surprisingly was my favorite of all of them, including the white. And that was just a regular port. And it's in a really cool bottle. So I think we're gonna get one of each of these. Chablis and port. What would you think of the winery? Very nice. Yeah. Very were there cool. any wines that were pleasing to your palate? Yes. Yeah. I like the Chambly was nice. Yeah. And we did get a bottle of the Chambly. Yeah, you did get a bottle of that. And yeah. I liked um, the pink bubbly one. 
Yeah, it was like a I champagne type of wine. Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. I got rid of the pamphlet. Too but bubbly like, for me. No, it was nice. Yeah. Some random people just walking around in the background <laughs> there. Um, we When we came here last time to Thousand Trails Orlando, we didn't know this place was here because we didn't come this far north on 27. Yeah. But when we went up to um, visit Jerry and Kelly okay. from Galleon Adventures, uh, we came back this way and we passed it. So we were like, hey, when, when the Brazen Brits this come to town, we'll have to come to the winery. Mm -hmm. So now it's our fault that they bought a bunch of wine. Yeah. <laughs> but it was all really good. It didn't I, I take didn't, much convincing though. For I them. didn't really taste any that I was like, yeah. They were all pretty good. I didn't drink any reds except for what the wine slushy was made of. Yeah, we did try this the, the wine slushy. They had samples and then they had like a mix that you could use with make their preferred type of wine and make your own but yeah. um that's too much work we'll just go to wineries that already have them prepared and drink theirs i'd rather just do that worth than... it <laughs> <laughs> all right it. um let's go find something else to do i guess to go wrangle the children and, i know and go <laughs> Jeez. quit pulling your sister's hair <laughs> Today we're headed to Umatilla, Florida, yeah. especially to go to lunch at a yeah. certain location. <laughs> we're going to be going to the Combat Cafe, which is a locally owned, veteran owned restaurant. And um, it's up in Umatilla, it's not a chain, it's one restaurant. Yeah. So it's not like you can go close to where you're at. We're going to drive about an hour today. Yeah. And it's a good day to do it because it's totally crap out, yeah. raining and everything raining. anyway. Cool, but raining. the sunshine in our day is that we have the Brazen Brits with us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to meet up with um, the folks who we heard about it from. Yes. Which is Michael and Shelley from Our Epic RV Adventure. Um, and they actually did a, a three-part in-depth interview with the owners operators yes. of combat cafe so we'll put a link in the description below so you can go check out those yeah. videos very interesting yeah, place that was good, seriously. very interesting couple uh to hear their story about how they started the the restaurant yeah Well, today we're at Disney Springs, yeah, which was night, really. <laughs> yeah, it was really evening, but this was never here. No, well, Lake Buena Vista was here with some restaurants and some shops, yeah. but not glorified like this. This like, is amazing, and yeah. some of the some of the Christmas decorations are still off, so it's really pretty out here. But nothing like it was when we were teenagers. I brought Lauren here when she was four. Yeah. With a friend, a high school friend in her daughter. And yeah. it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> so I'll tell you, it's free to park. It's free to get in. Uh, it is on Disney property. But the moment you purchase anything, the moment you get some food or buy any merchandise, that's where it starts. That's where you feel the true Disney. <laughs> yeah. But it is free if you just want to come out here and walk around, yeah. hang out. Sit at one of the benches, watch the fountain, watch the people go by. It's a great There's place to people watch. Bakeries, yeah. restaurants, bars, movie theaters, bowling alleys, everything is there. Exactly, yeah. And uh, we're off in the corner and not wearing our masks, but you are required to wear your mask at all times. Everywhere, inside yeah. and out, while you're inside of Disney Springs. They temperature mark you yeah. before you come in, everything.
Well, we're having a great time here at Disney Springs. We've been walking around for, I don't know, an hour or so at least. It's way better at night, I think. I think so. Um, so we came, it was, it was getting dark, but it wasn't dark. But now that it's dark, the ambiance is really great. Yeah, the lights, I think. Yeah, we were gonna eat at the um, T Rex restaurant. How long was the wait? Two hours and 40 minutes. So, note to self, or note to you if you decide to come to Disney Springs and you wanna eat at one of the novelty restaurants like the Rainforest Cafe or the T Rex restaurant, get here early, get your name on the list, then go check everything out and then get back into it. But um, we did find a little place here that has fish and chips, really affordable. Yeah, it's about 12, 13 bucks a person for fish and chips. And um, Lawrence and Natalie have told us that it's not, it's not British not, fish and chips. Not, not the, the quality. UK I mean, it's good, <laughs> but it's not like good, good. good. A five star rating. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like we said earlier, you can come out here for free, walk around, people watch, whatever. Leslie awesome. bought a hat for about 25 bucks. So with our dinner, with the hat, out here, a couple hours of just hanging out, having a good time with the Brazen Brits, 50 bucks and we're good. We recommend coming. Well, that's it from Thousand Trails of Orlando for now. Mm -hmm. We're heading out to Tampa to go to the show. We've been almost a year in the making, planning our Tampa trip. Yeah. And the Brazen Brits, we've been hanging out with them for the last, I don't know, it's a blur, four or five days? Five days. <laughs> <Again>. yeah. <laughs> so shortly after we get to Tampa, they'll be down there also, along with mm -hmm. a lot of other great channels and a lot of other great people and vendors. And we just can't wait to get to the Tampa yeah. show and have a good time with it. So, um, what was you guys' favorite part of okay. our little time here in Orlando together? <laughs> oh, put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I think it is Disney Springs. Yeah. yeah. Disney Springs was really fun. Yeah. I I was not. I'm going to admit I wasn't looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, hey, let's go shopping. Yeah. Like that's not that's yeah. not the most exciting thing. Yeah. But actually, it was a very cool experience. I loved it. Yeah. Make cool. sure it wasn't the mini golf that I did uh, so well. Uh, the mini golf was really. Ah, uh, mini golf. <laughs> that was fun. Winning the win mini golf yeah. was pretty cool. Uh, for me. Yeah, whatever. I didn't get to experience that part of it, <laughs> so I didn't. Yeah. But anyway, we're out. It's only an hour drive, so it's not too bad. And uh, I'm gonna wrap it up now because the sun is blinding us mm -hmm. but like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero we appreciate you watching and we'll see you in tampa bye <laughs>